day even. And WGN Sean Lewis is live at the UC right now at the mass vaccination site with more on this story. Sean. Yeah, Dina, Dina and Julie, we're literally talking about one in a million here. Still, this recommendation here in the United States is causing worldwide concern, so much so that Johnson & Johnson is now pausing their rollout of its vaccine in Europe as well because of this blood clot issue. Make no mistake, as you've been talking about, as we heard from Dr. Fauci just moments ago, this is extremely rare. Nearly 7 million of these doses of the J&J &J vaccine administered in the U.S. so far. A small number, six patients have had these cerebral sinus blood clots form all six patients as we are learning now are women between the ages of 18 and 48. The FDA reporting that one of those patients has died. Another is in critical condition. The symptoms you've gone through them Dina include severe headaches and occurring between uh, six and 13 days after that dose was administered. What we're seeing here is similar to the blood clot issue that we saw with the AstraZeneca vaccine in Europe. Both of those as you mentioned as well Dina both of these are Adina virus approaches to the virus, not the mRNA approach used for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine. So we're seeing similar issues happening with this adenovirus uh, vaccine. The CDC and the FDA earlier today holding this joint press conference to discuss their concerns and making the point that this is a recommendation by them, not a mandate to pause the administration of the J&J vaccine, but they're doing it out of an abundance of caution for the next few days so they can study these six cases closely. Right now, these events appear to be extremely rare. That said, COVID-19 vaccine safety is a top priority for federal government, and we take all reports of adverse events following vaccination very seriously. For people who got the vaccine more than a month ago, the risk to them is very low at this time. For people who recently got the vaccine within the last couple weeks, they should be aware to look for any symptoms. If you receive the vaccine and develop severe headaches, abdominal pain, leg pain, or shortness of breath, you should contact your health care provider and seek medical treatment. The Illinois Department of Public Health is uh, running with this recommendation from the federal government now pausing the administration of the J&J &J vaccine in the state of Illinois, telling local and uh, county governments that are uh, doling out this vaccine to pause it as well. Cook County, uh, for one, has said that it will switch all of the J&J &J vaccine appointments to Pfizer or Moderna. If you wish not to have that, they can then reschedule you for a different time. As far as the uh, rollout of all of the vaccines nationwide, uh, the White House, uh, as you heard, is saying that this is not going to be an issue to hit that goal that President Biden has said for 200 million doses because right now Moderna and Pfizer are the majority of the vaccines being given out. The J&J &J vaccine, they say, account for less than 5% of the vaccines being given right now. Of course, uh, we are going to be hearing from the city uh, coming up in the next hour or so. We'll have more on this coming up starting on the news.